Traders, this is Fausto from Cyber Trade University. Hopefully you guys are not all stressed out what's going on with everything with Reddit, the big short going on, which is absolutely BS what's happening to the people. I can't believe that there's a set of rules for one group of people and not a set of rules for people like us on Main Street. But I'm glad you all involved because that's why you're here. You're here to learn and you're here to figure out, you know what, I'll get... I'll, I'll, this is obviously you see what's going on. So if you can't beat them, join them. Now I know how you how you feel. Like I said, I've been doing this for 25 years. I've been through a lot of it. I've been through through 2000 when they changed the rules. So I do want to point out something very important to you. I want to show you a little bit about what to look for before you do a short because I know a lot of you st thinking like, what's going on? If I can still get a short? Well, let me just clarify a couple of things. First of all, what you're seeing right now in the market has nothing to do about the stock, okay? Um, it's a lot of options trades. A lot of us obviously can't afford to trade a $350 stock like right now what GameStop is doing. But what you could do is you could trade the options. It's the options that are actually affecting because if you guys trade the options, the person is obviously selling a naked, sh a, a naked short, you know, or has an option out there, um, but he's got to cover it if somebody executes it. And that's really what's fueling the fire. But for some of you that think you want to trade the stock, I want to bring up the stock really quick, and I'm going to show you how to protect yourself to make sure, can I even get the, uh, the short off? Because you could do it on the option, but you also want to check on the stock. Now remember, there was a rule that was changed in the New York Stock Exchange regarding about no more naked shorts. Now you could they could put an option order out there, but you know, and if they get executed, they got to cover it. But until then, that's what's really fueling the fire. If you know what I mean, how I know this, I've been doing this for long enough. And trust me, the rule is going to change. I hate to tell you this, but be prepared. Um, uh, Congress is going to probably change the rules. They did it with the twenty-five thousand dollar day trading rule. They're going to probably put some regulations on the options. This is how it all started. Now, what's, what makes today very unique on a Friday is that this is where options expire. That's why you're probably noticing a lot of news that came out yesterday. Which, like I said, it's bullcrap that they can actually lock you guys out so they can get protect them and we get screwed. But listen, I want to tell you how to protect yourself on an options, um, and I want to tell you what to look for now. I'm just going to bring up an execution system here really quick. And right here, we're looking at, I want to look at the stock like GameStop. Now, I know a lot of you are probably thinking about shorting a stock. And please remember, not every stock is shortable. You could only short what somebody, a, your brokerage firm has to lend it to you. So you could sit here and analyze all you want. And all of a sudden, you're like, oh, I'm going to do the short. I'm going to do the short. Next thing you know, it's, there's no short out there. So I just want to give you one little tip of the day. When you look at your execution system right here, you'll notice that I'm using a, a direct access broker and I'm using the ECNs. If you want to know more about them, go watch my videos. Very important you know what an ECN is. It's electronic communication network. It allows you to become a market maker. It allows you to make put bids and offers out there. Now, on GameStop, Let's say we all know that we all know GameStop's not worth three hundred dollars. Okay, this stock is not in the level of Tesla, whatever it is. It's all about what's happening with with the catastrophes happening with uh, with the market and with Reddit. But if you did, what you want to do is you want to click on a number that is out of the money. Now the stock right now is trading at uh, three hundred twenty nine dollars and eighty cents. I am going to put a limit order short. I'm going to short it at some ridiculous expensive price, almost like an option, like out of the money. So I'm going to put an order out there at $344. Obviously, I'm not going to get executed. It would be nice, but it's not going to happen. And I'm going to go here and click on the, the short button. Now, when I click on the short button, you'll notice that I got an error message. Right here, it tells you the, st the security is not shortable. Guess what? You just got screwed, okay? You just got screwed. You know what? Maybe I'll short AMC then. We know AMC is not worth uh, worth uh, what it's at, but we all want to go out there and try to short it. So I'm going to short it out of the money. I'm going to go short it at 50 cents out of the money, right? I'm going to click short, right? Guess what? It says right here, security is not shortable again. Why is it not shortable? You know what? What about the KOSS? That's up 38%. That looks like it's a big going down. Actually, if you look at KOSS, let me just bring over level four here. And you could see that there was a 30,000 share seller right here, right at about $100. Another 14,000. You see all those red bars? This is called level four. You're like, wow, you know what? This stock was at 
It went to a hundred. Obviously, has the same story with all with the with uh, with the AMC and all with with GameStop and BlackBerry and all of them. And you're like, you know what? Maybe this is the crash on the stock. I want to short it. I see it out there. Let's go out there and test it. I'm gonna click there and do a short. I'm gonna type ninety dollars out of the money. Click short. Bam. Guess what? It's not shortable. What the hell is going on? Because they're locking you out. They're locking you out. They're not letting you short. But you can short on the option market. Just be careful. You you know your spreads on them. Um, now, just to show you what is shortable. I don't know. Let's look at Apple for crying out loud. They'll let you short Apple, right? Let's short Apple out of the money. Let's go out there at 3150, right? Or a little bit higher. Just make sure that we can get the short off. I'm going to click short. Oh, congratulations. I got a short out there. It says accepted. What a coincidence. Apple's shortable, not the other ones. So the tip of the day is this. If you're going to consider shorting and you know you probably want to short because Wall Street does it and what's fair to them is not fair to you, look what they're doing. They're not allowing you to short the stocks that you want to. So hopefully the rule changes. All I'm asking and all I'm saying about doing this video is make sure that you learn from this and if you want to short, which you don't have to short these, there's a lot of the shocks. Just make sure you check before you do. Don't go through the short list. Don't go call them up. You don't have to. All you got to do is put an order out there and the system will tell you immediately. Just do it out of the money. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Like us, friend us. Join us every morning here at 9 a.m. on pre -market, the pre-market live show with Trading With Me. And we'll find these stocks that we could trade every day. And if you want to come and join us in our live trading room for a one-week trial for $9, that would probably be better. But thank you very much. Thank us. Like us. And be safe.